A dramatic power play continues in the boardroom of one of the giants of Canada's media and communications industry, Edward Rogers. He is out as chair of Rogers Communications, a company his father, Ted Rogers, founded. The change was announced after a failed attempt by Edward Rogers to oust the company's chief executive officer. CBC Business reporter Scott Peterson is on the story. I'm sure there's a real-life drama being written about this right now. We're going to see it <laughs> you know, on Netflix or something. Um, is Edward Rogers fighting back, Scott? Uh, he is, and he's got a lot of heavyweight behind him. He's in charge of something called the Rogers Control Trust. This is a family entity that gives him the ability to control uh, the family votes over who sits on the board and who doesn't sit on the board. So what he's done in retaliation is he said five of these board members, including Joe, uh, John McDonald, who was voted to replace him, he's voted them out in their place. He wants five handpicked uh, board members that he's placing on presumably to hold another vote to reinstate him as chairman of the board. So this is what that statement looks like coming out from Rogers. So uh, Edward Rogers, and he's the, the control trust chair. This is the statement. It says the control trust chair is disappointed with recent events and commentary regarding the, the, um, the governance of RCI, Rogers Communication Inc., and has lost confidence in the board of RCI as currently constituted. The uh, central trust, the control trust uh, chair believes that it would be in the best interest of RCI to reinstate, uh, to reconstitute the board. So this is, uh, as, as stated, a month ago, Edward Rogers that started this whole thing, he wanted to replace uh, Joe Natale uh, as the CEO with the CFO. The CFO ended up walking. Uh, and so this uh, ended up with the board voting Edward Rogers out. But now there's a lot of confusion uh, as to what's going to happen now if, if Edward Rogers has now replaced the board that voted him out in the first place. So this is really a soap opera at its best, Suhana. And what's the response, Scott, from inside the company so far anyway? Well, John McDonald, who was voted to replace him, was trying to make nice, and let's not forget, they're in the middle of a $26 billion Shaw takeover deal, a proposed deal anyways. So this is the statement from John McDonald, who was replacing him, saying, this has been a challenging time for the corporation, and I want to reaffirm on behalf of the majority of the board our support and total confidence in the management team and the CEO. But that puts that statement up in the air as well. So what's left to be seen is the legal challenge, perhaps, that Rogers will take with Edward uh, being at the, the Rogers Control Trust, and with there's any legal uh, leeway back and forth, or is he just allowed to appoint these members at will? So this is only the latest chapter, and there's going to be another one as dramatic probably after this, Suhana. And what about shareholder reaction? What are you seeing on that front? We're not seeing a decisive reaction so far. It's down a little bit, but nothing decisive. But clearly, this is a, puts everything up in, in, in the air as far as who's managing this company going forward.